What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Becoming A Dot 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 Podcast. I'm your host, Ricky. Of course, thank you for coming back. Thank you for always listening and just being you. So today we're doing a little something different today. We are talking about some Disney movie. Um, We're talking about that today, but I have some special guests with me. And um, I'm just going to let them introduce themselves. All right. Well, I'm Sir Nigel, the Don't Judge Me podcast. And uh, my boy. And his boy would be Jadon Agro, the other half of the Don't Judge Me podcast. And I am looking forward to talking crap about another Disney television show on the Editor Life of Ricky's podcast. Thank you so much for being here, fellas. It's really nice to talk about, you know, nerd stuff with other nerds and geeks as well. So, Thank you. You're welcome. You're very welcome. <laughs> All right. So um, I do listen to your podcast. Don't judge me, Marcus, you know. Um, and so, Nigel, you were talking the other day. Well, I don't know what episode this is, but you were going somewhere, either Costco or something, Ikea, I don't know. And you were saying that you saw this guy in the car with a wife beater on and is like, yeah. Outside. <laughs> so I was sitting in the car. I was like, I can see that. But then I also, I was like, I want to know what happened, like where they would go. Oh, I was about to make that U-turn. I was like, she's in danger. Let me do my civil duty. I'm going to do a citizen arrest. Like this dude just didn't, he was just not, it was like snow on the ground. You in a tank top. Like what? Nothing about this is right. And you're at Costco parking lot. So it's like, you are either waiting in the park. Like she's kidnapped. She is a part right. of trafficking. She is, there's a miss, her picture's on a milk carton somewhere. Like, I mean, and I didn't do my part and I apologize I, to that I, young lady. But I thought about it. I was like, what? It would be a cool show if they had a show where you start off with some r- random guy and you just follow him around and then he sees something and then you just go in the car and you just follow the people like you're creeping and see what they're up to. I was like, that would be a kind of a cool show. Every episode is a different person in their car. You're just following them. It'd be called None Your Business. And if, 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 <laughs> you said you'd just be up in everybody else's business. That's what it is. <laughs> I watch it. You, you're not gonna learn shit about me but that's, look at these people you know so yeah I, I was like that was running through my head when you were talking about that i was like that's hilarious but did you hear about uh tisha campbell getting tra- i know y'all talked about that too didn't you not tisha campbell but i heard about it and her lying ass uh oh, wait is she lying uh yeah she was not so the story is tisha is filming a movie about human trafficking in i think it's in texas right along the border of mexico somewhere along you know that Mm -hmm. portion of texas and she was staying in a motel and they were leaving or she was visiting a motel something had to do with the motel and they were leaving and they called it a dance service and the gentleman pulled up it was two vehicles that pulled up and one was like come with me come with me or something like that and she was like i almost got human trafficking or whatever she said (laughs) (laughs) and and the police investigated because, of course, she went on the Instagram with, with the information and they were like, yeah, we can't find the cab company. We can't find the dispatch call. We can't find the motel. We need to talk to you, Mr. Like Campbell. <laughs> we need to talk to you. But well, damn. The week before her ex-husband, it was announced that he was going to be a part of the uh, Fresh Prince reboot. Like he was getting, he's going to be a uh, part of the cast. I figure she was like, mm-hmm, nigga. You ain't getting none of this attention and decided to take some of it back or try to take some of it back. But uh, Tisha, ain't nobody try to snatch uh, Gina up. No. Damn, Gina. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, okay. Well, she has problems. She just, you know, she's still here, though. She's still here. Isn't that her song? Isn't yes. it for her song? She has a song. Oh, my yes. God. Yes. Have you not seen? I think no, I'm about to Google this. Like, oh, my God. I, I did not I know she tried to be here. And I think it was the Wendy Williams that's where she performed it. Yep. Yes, where she performed it. And it's a meme. Oh my God. It's so funny. It's like, I'm still here. Here. Yeah. 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 Right. Oh my goodness. That's, that's what she does. Reminds me of a party all the time. Wait, wait, hold on. Give me a second. <laughs> bad, bad, bad actor songs. That needs to be a whole episode. Seriously. Yo, I just watched two seconds of the video and this is already comical. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe talking about it all Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm ready for it. Okay. All right. So we're talking about Hawkeye today. Another uh, Disney TV film on 
Disney Plus. And so I want to get your thoughts, what you thought it might be for me. I thought it was going to be, I didn't know what to expect. I really didn't. I was going in like, I don't know anything about Hawkeye. I barely know anything about Widow. Because when she died, did I care? No. Either one of them could die and I wouldn't shed a tear. So I know that might sound harsh, but that's just how I feel. But yeah, I w- I didn't go in with any expectations. So what about you guys? Did you have any? Well, I, I thought it might be like die hard ish like with the the running around new york city and explosions and kind of shit like die hard with a vengeance but not as cool so i had that expect and it's a christmas film so any any die hard movie regardless of which one it is out of the five or four however many they are they're they're all christmas movies because the first one happened during christmas and it's a continuation of the story so considering hawkeye was going on during christmas and they're in new york city and there's explosions and there's like a buddy thing going on i felt like i felt like uh it was going to be die hard-esque and uh Pretty much was. So I was okay with that. I actually thought it was going to be garbage. Um, I thought, um, I, I knew they were bringing in, I guess, like an apprentice, right? And so I was like, oh, this is this is clearly trying to pass the torch, I feel, because probably Jeremy's getting a little old, right? So I was like, all right, well, it's probably going to be very cliche. Um, I didn't have high, high, high hopes for it, but I am glad I watched it. Um, it. It had turned out better than, way better, maybe because the bar was so low for me, but it turned out really good. Yeah. Oh, I'm not saying that it was on par with any of the diehards, except for even the one with Jesse Wasn't... Long. The one that was filmed in, in Baltimore a little bit, that one. Which one was that diehard with uh, the, the herpes or whatever? Like, <laughs> whatever diehard that one. Um, <laughs> diehard was <laughs> herpes. I don't, I don't know that, that one. one. You might get that off a of lime wire, my friend. You might have been watching <laughs> the wrong one. Possibly. But it it was still, it, it was it was a good time. I was, I was pleasantly surprised about it as well. Yeah, so so I'm taking it that you enjoyed it, you liked it, you want more. I mean, I you- can live without more, but it, it was it was cool. I get, I get, they did some changes, like the whole "come at me, bro, <laughs> bro, bro, <laughs> bro, 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 bro." I was like, uh, yeah, okay, that's enough. <laughs> like, I need another, need another villain group or something. But I mean, I like, it. I like the uh, tracksuit mafia. I thought they were charming. They were charming villains. Right, there were no real yeah. threat. There was never right. any real. No, threat it wasn't Roger. I mean, it was. It was just like it was like an Ant Man film. Like, do people really get hurt in Ant Man movies? Not really. Exactly. No. And this is what Hawkeye was. It was like the Ant Man of the television universe. Yeah, yeah. No, I I thought why they brought another female in because of you know Widow. She's gone, so they got to like, oh, we need you know cop and buddy team. We need you know male and female so that's what i was thinking since she's gone so they gotta replace him but also you know have a female kicking ass you know and now we're getting a backstory with her and not have to wait like eight years to get a backstory with widow so you know yeah we're gonna fast track this they figured out what they did wrong and now (laughs) they know better and so they do better yeah because i was just like why didn't you come with the widow before Marvel, you know, nobody cared about her. She was in the movie for like five seconds at the end. We could have waited to after that movie to have. Anyway, that's just my gripe. <laughs> I I love Marvel and um, Disney. If you're listening, I love it. It's the best ever. <laughs> Don't fire me. Um, <laughs> uh, anybody that stuck out to you in the movie, like that you liked or scenes? I like seeing um. Clayton English, you know who Clayton English is? I'm pretty sure that's his name. He was the well-placed black guy who was a firefighter that had the oh. costume that was LARPing. Yeah. He won, yeah. Um, uh, what is it, Next Comic Standing or whatever? That NBC co- comic uh, American Idol kind of show? Yeah, um, that was a long time ago. He, he won that um, some years ago, and he's also a part of the 85 South crew. So to see somebody with like that kind of background in a, in a Marvel uh, product and like it's not like the acting was a stretch it was just like just be there say these lines good job you know yeah. just to see it was just like cool thumbs up I like it nice yeah I wanted I want that Broadway show to be a thing like I want that I can do this all day like I want that I would watch that no I'd probably still watch Hawkeye more but I, I, I was so intrigued like I would want to see how they handle that and uh, that's what stood up for me. I, I actually rewatched 
the end scene on the sixth episode <laughs> a couple times. Um, it was really intriguing. I thought it was hilarious. Uh, they yeah, said cool. they they filmed this whole uh, song, and you gonna get all of it. Yo, <laughs> I honestly, because when they teased it, I think in the second episode, no, first episode, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, I want more of that. <laughs> And then they gave me more. I was very satisfied as a, a consumer at that point. I was like, you read my mind. Yeah. I appreciate it. Now, that's what stood out for me. Uh, one of the better things. Um, yeah, for me. Anyway. I don't think I cared about any of the major characters. Like, there was no association with uh, they mean something. Like, they're going to tell this story and I'm watching it. And these people are involved. But I'm just looking for ancillary shit. Like, I don't, I don't care about, like, Hawkeye is cool. He gets away with shit. He's got, air- like, when you think about it, he's got arrows. Like, he shouldn't be able to pull off half the shit he's pulling off. So we're just going to go with it. But all this other stuff, all this these, this third party things that kind of just jump out there. Like, yeah, that's cool. That's also, cool. like the mom's fiance being a swashbuckler. Yo, he was just like random. He was a gem. Okay. Like, he was comical, especially at the end. Like, this man was doing everything. Uh, he's a he's a great addition. <laughs> I liked his persona. I actually had to IMDB him. I was like, where are you in? I need to see you in another role just to see if you are hitting it like you're hitting this one. Like it was, it was I think it was on point. Yeah, because you're all thinking he's the bad guy the whole time. So, you know, he played that role very well, but then it ended up being the moms. You're like, God damn, that's messed up. Spoiler alert. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> it took forever for me to watch it because people at my job, like, Ricky, you watched it yet? Ricky, you watched it yet? And I'm like, no. We can't talk about it until you watch it. What you guys what you guys talk about? Who with the job liked it or didn't like it? Um, they were okay with it. It was not like, oh my God, the greatest thing we ever saw. They just thought it was okay. Yeah. I think they liked uh Mandalorian better. Mandalorian's cool. Well, that's yeah. a that's a cool show. Yeah. That I have not watched. Yeah, I haven't seen the second season yet, but um my friend sent me this video of how they um film it. It's just this big TV screens just mm-hmm. all the way around and they can change the different backgrounds and stuff and oh, make tight. it make it look like it's outside and I'm like well damn I didn't know that's what they were doing I just thought they were in a desert somewhere filming all this stuff and nope it's a big ass screen in they the back Disney money just, just inventing ways to make television mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. whole yeah. movie is fake <laughs> it's one person <laughs> just crucial makeup <laughs> exactly I love it so I um, know all right, so I saw this on Twitter. So this is it says in honor of Black History Month, I want everyone to name a movie that would be completely different if the main character was black. And he said, "I'll go first. And he says, "Back to the Future." Yeah. So <laughs> all he could have done was play at the prom. <laughs> they were the only black people. <laughs> was the band at what the prom? He, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There wasn't that many. The, the black people were not representative. Back to the Future, any of them. Uh-huh. He just would have got clubbed over the head for being in the wrong part of town. They took him back to the other side of the tracks, and then he had to figure out a way to get back to Doc. Doc wouldn't have trusted him to begin with. No, he's like, who's this? Who's this unmentionable? Why are you trying to to work with me? No, go sell your crack rocks or something. That's, it would have. It would have never worked. Okay, and then somebody else comment, uh, commented under that said Batman, if Batman was black. Yeah, it's, it'll work the same. Still aggressive, beating people up in the streets and shit like that. They probably I find out who he was faster. Because <laughs> <laughs> he'd have a, like a Rick Ross beard and be like, Batman, don't you? You're nah. Brutus, ain't you? <laughs> Brutus Wayne? <laughs> but Gordon definitely wouldn't have turned a blind eye. He'd have been like, uh, I don't like this unmentionable running around with my city. Mm-hmm. We need to figure out who he is. Right, with the click on sight, shoot on sight because he a black bat. That's why racism, racism lives, man. Okay, well, he'd be able to hide better though. I mean, if he was really bl- blickly black, <laughs> all right, you wouldn't even be able to see him. You just see some eyes moving in the dark. He'd be like, Who's that? He definitely wouldn't have painted his logo yellow because he'd have known better. He's like, Ah, oh, we all black, yo, black on black on black. He would have some yep. air forces too, he'd like, have some black <laughs> air force points. <laughs> <laughs> but he would have he would have kept the little uh, silver uh, thing on the shoestring though, just mm-hmm. to let you know. Yeah, just to let you know. You hear a squeaking like a basketball court, and all of a sudden Batman <laughs> is there, like, <laughs> I go. Ah! 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Vegets. <laughs> it's over. You got me. And you just end them like that. That's like, that would have been amazing. I'd watch it. Just for that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just for that. Any movies y'all could think of if it was a black person on it, who would how it would change? Um, I think I'm gonna go like a, like a Mr. Holland's opus, but I feel like <laughs> not even what is that? that? Who's in that? Uh, it's a movie the, about a band director who catches like cancer or something. Or, I don't know. His, his like son loses his earring or something. I, I don't. But it was just it was just a random movie. I just picture like any movie with Robin Williams in it. I need to replace it with a black person, and I just and then just spiraled out of control after that point and Mr. Holland's <laughs> opus is the first thing that came to mind. I guess maybe like Mr. D- Mrs. Doubtfire as a big I guess that's Medea, right? Like uh, Yeah, uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> like I'm I'm failing at this. Uh, uh It's okay. It's okay. What 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 about Goonies? Oh. That's, yeah. That's what it there been was called. no black people in that movie, wasn't it? Yeah, it just would have been called in words. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> like they'd have been like in the woods or not like underground or anything they just be running through the woods or something I, mean, I can't call it actually i'm trying to think like if one of the characters who would you who would you replace as a black person would it be Ch- all of them or all of them the whole crew <laughs> the whole crew probably would have been the stereotypical italians to replace those with the black people that's what it would have been they've been the, in the goonies uh because there's the mob they, they would have made it out they wouldn't have yeah been yeah they would have made it out they would have been dead it is just shot there <laughs> you, you, for real. <laughs> oh they're near the kids <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kids. So like, like, who else? Are? Somebody else? Are? No, real talk. Who is? And just start letting off. I guess if uh, think of like Marvel, uh, I guess theme, right? Remember Daredevil with uh, Ben Affleck? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> that would have been a uh, whack. It was a bad movie. Would done any better with a black person? In it. Indiana Jones. Didn't they do something like that within Living Color? Was it like Tyrone Jones or something stereotypical? Probably. Probably. I mean, that sounds about right. Jerome. I, th- I think he he could still do the same things he was doing but he wouldn't have carried a carried a whip like that just would be against all his rules he'd be black yeah he'd have had like a machete he'd have had a machete yeah a cutlass that's what he'd have had you have uh skywalker right Mm -hmm. and then when the interaction was like luke i am your father like i never knew you was alive bro like (laughs) like real racist like i need a dna (laughs) why you leave my mama (laughs) my mama said you was locked up yeah, your mama was a side piece. <gasps> and he <laughs> drop, drops down to the down the track. It just kills himself. <laughs> I love my mama. Terrible. <laughs> like we're not we're not making any of these movies better. We're just no, no not at all. No, but it's so us. funny. It's so <laughs> funny though. Uh, I don't know. Um, I, I can't. I was thinking of a sports movie, but then they always like the Mighty Ducks. Except every kid was black. Um, what about that? Every kid okay. Mighty Ducks was black. Could they skate though? I, I remember. Oh, that's it. a problem. <laughs> I remember watching watching it with friends when I was in high school. I'm talking 14, 15 years old, and the friend group was around that age. And we watched it, and at the end, nobody was high on drugs. But at the end, he was like, "We should start an ice skating team." <laughs> it was amped to try to start an ice skating team. Yeah. For every bit of thirty minutes, just talking about it, like, "Yo, how? Like, are we? Where can you even ice skate at? We don't. We don't know these things. We, we don't know these things. So, yes, the Miley Ducks. Okay. They don't have ice rinks in the hood like that. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. We get a roller rink, and that's about it, honey. It's just one. Not, not many. Just one ice skate. Where is there ice? I know where two are. Maybe three. I know where three of them are, but they aren't in the hood. Yeah, I think I'm, I only know two. I don't know if they're still around, but they bust your ass. I mean, those figure skates. Are, I'd be scared I cut myself. I just like what? They just the toe pick, man. That thing will have you fall on your face. You know what I'm saying? And just gliding across, and it's cold. I don't know why people don't like cold like that. You know, you can't feel sure that. I can't stand the cold. Man. Um, Get done Titanic. They would have been on the boat. You know that romantic scene where uh, Ro- Rose is out there, like our king of the world. Oh, you know, and mm-hmm. they like oh, they'd be like, get y'all blood. <laughs> Get your black get below get that to the kitchen. Below. To the kitchen, yeah. Get to the kitchen. What you doing out here? Romanticizing, trying to spit game. It's, 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 you know, it's the cook hollering at the waitress. You're know saying like, hey, you know, like, folks the- can't see you out here. Yeah, yeah. it's all intro. Can't be dipping in the chocolate. Come on, guys, get back in there. Get back in there. Were there any black people on the Titanic? No, because it was not a, even like a servant, not even like oh. a servant of any sort. Ain't want none of that. Wow, we gonna keep you Negro free with no Negroes in it. Crazy how many movies actually do not have black people at all. 
<laughs> like absence. Uh, shoot, TV shows. Who's the boss? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> the only the only black character will be Tony Danza's character. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's like who the boss though? Who is the boss between him and the white one? Mm, that just sound wrong already. <laughs> it just, that sound bad. <laughs> which one of these people the boss though? It, it would just end up being like Benson. That's all. It just be Benson. I'm sure all over here trying to sing and dance for you. Yo, yo, it sounds like a bad like porn or something like. <laughs> and I need you to help clean this. Show will Miss Miss Tabitha. Nah, it was, I, it I work hard. Maybe the grandma. Maybe oh. the grandma. Maybe the grandma. <laughs> oh my goodness. What was the name Rose or something? Like, I, don't I don't know. know. <laughs> no. I don't know why Tabitha <laughs> came to mind either. I even think about one of like the Armageddon movies, like uh, Armageddon, right? <laughs> uh. One of us got to sacrifice ourselves. Peace, dog. Uh, I'm, on the, I'm on a spaceship. I'll tell your daughter, you, you're a good dude. Appreciate you. Hey, you're a real son. Oh, you're I real. My, yeah, I ain't sacrificing myself for this planet. Bye. <laughs> I'm out. Wildin'. They said it's supposed to be a peaceful mission. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> like, that was a, what was a, a Stanley Tucci. No, it wasn't Stanley Tucci. Wherever the, the guy with the weird Steve guy. Buscemi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he was like, look, I need you to forgive all my taxes. That would have been the closest to a black guy. That was the right thing I remember the most about the movie. He was like, I want all my taxes, past and future. Sales tax, too. He wanted everything. Yeah, he was like, yeah, eliminate that. Now, I remember what's-his-face was in that movie, but uh, he, he didn't. Michael. Have the, yeah, Michael Clark uh, Duncan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The green model, you mean? Yeah, but I mean, like, I'm talking, like, either Bruce Willis or... Ben, one of them being black, at the very end, like, hey, I'm gonna let you go ahead, keep smashing my daughter. I'll if, take this L. If, like, if nah. it was, if it was Ben, Affleck, yeah, if it was Ben Affleck, like that was black, he'd be like, nah, you gotta stay. Yeah, you gotta stay. You, you, you gotta love stay. my daughter, don't you? Like, <laughs> he was not letting him go back home. Yeah, smashing his daughter unattended. You know what I mean? This is sounds wrong. Like, if his name was Dietrich instead of Ben Affleck or whatever his name, he's not like Dietrich go back home. Ben Trell. Ben Trell. Ben Trell <laughs> Affleck. Affleck. -y. I don't know. I'm going real weird with this. <laughs> oh my god! You're only making my head <laughs> Are y'all excited for any of the new coming movies uh, with Doctor Strange? Is next? Yeah, uh, multiverse. Um, they also have uh, Moon Knight. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Yo, he Moon Knight is like psychotic and he curses. So like he doesn't know what he's be doing sometimes, and he just be like, "Screw this! I don't want to do this shit." <laughs> And it's just, that's why I like Moon Knight. Um, but uh, yeah, there's some nice ones coming up. Uh, Doctor Strange is going to be cool. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I'm excited. It's just like, it's a way of life now. Right? Even with the Disney Plus series, just Marvel, the experience altogether is just like, I'm an American. I get Marvel. That's just how it works. You know what I mean? Like, like you, you cut on your TV and you get the news. Well, as an American citizen, you cut on your TV and you get Marvel. That's just, just what it is. Right. So. I was mad at... Um... Doctor Strange in the Spider-Man movie because I was like, why did you sit up here and do this for this kid? And he, all he had to do was go talk to the administrator. That's pretty much could have been the movie over. Yeah, it really could have. <laughs> it was like, it's too late now. Like, you did a whole, why did he ask these questions? Like, that was my whole thing when I was leaving. I'm like, why did he even do, you a grown-ass man. Why are you, what? He just wanted to, he just wanted to flex. That's what it was. It was, like, hey, was. He, he got a spell that could make people forget. And he was like, yeah, I got you. Like, he just was like, yeah, I got this shit. And then it was like, oh, wait, I want this too. He's like, oh, hold on now. You're asking for extra stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I only get three toppings for ten ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Now you get to run our extra shit, dude. You're messing everything up. Right. God and damn it. And which he did. And I hadn't seen the, um, I only seen the Toby Maguire. I didn't see the, what, what's the kid's name? The second uh, part. And, and Andrew Garfield. Yeah. I hadn't seen his, uh, movies because I was like, it was right after Toby. And I was like, is y'all doing too much? But, um, so I didn't know some of the villains that came through and, I was like, wait, who? Jamie Foxx, like, what? I will say, like, because uh, Jamie Foxx's character in The Amazing Spider-Man was goofy, right? And I guess they must have, like, offered him, like, hey, come back for the reprise your role. And he was like, first off, what you gonna do? <laughs> because even when he was in the movie, he was like, oh, yeah, I look better. And it was like, you just gonna glance over the fact that in the previous movie, he was a, a Bama? Like, I, I don't know. It was, it was funny, but it was, it was interesting to see him in that role again. Yeah, I heard a lot of people didn't enjoy his uh, entrance into the movie. Like, it was great, though. It was, I, I, loved, I loved the whole movie. No, the movie was good. It was just like the whole premise around 
what why right. this happened is so like such a teenage thing to do but then you're going to an adult and he does it like this no okay no supervision but no i did it like they, they, they get down on one another they bro code that's what it is bro code have you ever gone to space and fought an uh, intergalactic villain with anyone before? <laughs> Not this week. <laughs> and and since you haven't, you don't understand their oh. relationship. Oh. Bro code. Bro code. I got you. Okay. That's that's about it for today. It's a short mini episode. Fellas, let the people know where they can find you. I'll go first. I am J Del Negro everywhere on the web except for Twitter, where I am Del Negro J. Long story. Don't ask me about that one. Um, but you can also check out the Don't Judge Me podcast every week because we eat it to do judgmental shit. Oh, well, my turn. Um, <laughs> the Instagram and uh, Twitter uh, at Don't Judge Pod. Uh, post stuff on there. Uh, we like to think we're funny. And, um, Hopefully you do too. All right. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. I appreciate you. I had a good time. And thanks again. Make sure you guys check them out. And that is it for us. I will see you next time. Remember, be you, be wonderful, be great. And just watch all the Marvel movies because, you know, that's what you got to do. All right. Bye.